and we don't even need the uh, the uh, the stream goal. It's been hit. I should have updated it. This is how rushed I've been since I got home. But the the emote is going to be available now. We've got Nico up as our first opponent. Okay, so we got Rillaboom, Colossal Venusaur, Grimmsnarl, Tokol, and Gastron. Okay. Ha. Huh. How are you proccing the Colossal? What are you doing? What are, what are we seeing here? We seeing Bulldoze, maybe? On Rillaboom? Does Rillaboom get Bulldoze? I would assume so. Um, okay. What are we doing? I feel like Tito is going to be quite good here. Uh, we just need to get around the two grass types, but we've got Slowbro. Slowbro does great against both these Pokemon. So, actually, I mean, what can they really do against Slowbro, uh, like stopping us setting up the Trick Room? I think we go these three for sure. And then our last Pokemon, maybe Rillaboom is... Uh, Rillaboom's not that great. I mean, it's great against Gastrodon for sure. Our own Gastrodon's not bad, to be honest, except for the two grass types. Hmm. Rotom Heat. Could you do some work? I mean, we could. We could go Rotom Heat. It does... Mm, no, it doesn't do great against... In the grass types, they're going to bring the grass types. Can we go Rillaboom? Rillaboom Boom? Nah, I don't really feel great with Rillaboom. I think Gastrodon. We have to go Gastrodon. We have to go Gastrodon. Johnny, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well, my friend. Uh, Mr. Bundy. So you're holding out the best mons for your best battles. That's what I heard. Well, we've got a we've got playing Team UK. It's, it's a privileged position to be in, Mr. Mr. Bundy. So I feel like <laughs> I feel like I need to um, I need to at least get a win for the boys in week one. Or I feel like Mr. Boy will feel like why did he put me in the team? That's how it feels. Put the psychic terrain up. But then we're going to see it go bye-bye with the grassy terrain, I feel. How are you doing, Johnny? I hope you're doing well, mate. Thanks for hopping and joining the stream tonight. I, I was just making sure you didn't get it, and I didn't. Uh, okay, mate. Yeah, I definitely, I think I got an email. I'm pretty sure I got an email. But I haven't checked it yet, and I haven't submitted a team. So I need to do that tonight, I feel. Okay. Well, we could go expanding force. Probably going to get faked out. And I feel like we probably get. Hmm. Hmm. I feel like you got um, Max with Venusaur. Or you try and put Slobra to sleep. That's the other thing. Okay. But we could go help in hand and just go expanding force. And hope the sleep powder misses. Okay, and well, we're going to see the max. The emote, it's here. I'm doing pretty good. Maybe I'm onto something with a new team. Fingers crossed. That sounds promising, mate. I'm pleased you are. Well, oh, shoot, it's Gala Shabra. Slowbro. Maybe we get the quick draw here. It's got like a 30% chance to activate, which is nuts. G Max. Yeah. We're going to have to get used to this team tonight, I feel, because I literally literally put it together before um the stream tonight like literally threw it together there's max quick we're going down we're gonna lose a a glorious slobber nah we take that take that we should have trick room but i mean we got the trick room the next turn so why are we quick draw? quick draw i needed to play quick draw well we had to do it it's a great option to play <laughs> Regenerate is probably more consistent, but Quick Draw is just gimmicky, isn't it? And um, it's its new ability, so we had to give it a go. We had to. It was mandatory. Uh, okay, well, follow me, and we will trick of the room. The question I would like to know is, can you stack Quick Draw with uh, Quick Claw? Because I've seen... Like usage stats, quite a few people are playing Quick Claw. So I wonder if it does stack, which would then give you quite an increase. Are you Quick Claw? No, we're Psychic Seed. We're Psychic Seed. We need, we need the defense. You'll see in a minute why. It's a grassy glide. Okay, well, that's fine. 
Metamax Quake, you keep quaking away. That's fine. As long as we aren't seeing the vine, the vine whip. Quit. Which we'll probably see next. Okay, well we get a trick room up, so this is fine. There we go. Good old slow bro. It does stack. So the quick claw and the quick draw stack. 44% chance slow bro moves first. That seems pretty nice, doesn't it? Um, okay. Well, would it be a good idea to bring Gastrodon in here? I don't think so. <laughs> but we will bring our good old Mr. T Tar in. Um, and see if we can we can claw this one back. This works out better for us actually because of the grassy terrain. <clears throat> so we'll see. We're we gonna be able to get this a floor. I hope we are. I feel like we may get this blissful. Depends how bulky it is. I do worry about the Rillaboom still, of course. Um, it's going to be able to check out a wood hammer, which you would imagine probably does go for now. Unless it goes Grassy Glide. I kind of prefer that. But we will see. There's the Bulldoze. No Grassy Glide. We're going to take a wood hammer to the fierce. The fierce man, right? But we are gonna get our weakness policy, so hopefully, Max Rockfall gets this Venusaur. We're kind of banking on it getting the Venusaur, and then next turn, we can get the Rillaboom as long as the Woodhammer doesn't take us down. Which it should, we should be able to take a Woodhammer. It's all about this knockout, though. Can we get it? Can we get it? We get it! Yay! Titar not letting us down. This is why you're my favorite Pokemon of all time, Mr. Titar. Oh! I <laughs> didn't see that coming. Okay. Eek. That's minus two now, Rillaboom. Is it going to underspeed? It's going to underspeed the T-Tar. Hmm. This gets a bit tricky now. Didn't see the hammer arm coming. Could we be sneaky and reverse the trick room, do you think? I think the uh, Rillaboom definitely underspeeds us. Definitely under speed team. Yeah, because it undersped. Mm, well, does it? Does it now? Well, I'm a little bit confused about because it undersped R and D, but we run a little bit of a a little bit of speed at R and D. So it might be just. No, I think we 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 still under. I think we still under speed it. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to gamble. I think I'm gonna have to gamble. Um, and double into double into Gortrum Gortrum uh, and we'll go for the I mean if we get the come on quick draw's gotta activate sooner there we go there we go there's a quick draw come on uh, okay we need to underspeed this Rillaboom like really 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 need to uh, underspeed it come on Slubber you do your thing that's not bad damage. It's not bad. Come on, Tito, please under speed. Yes! Okay. Even through the reflect, we should get this. Should get it. Yeah! Okay, okay. It's all good. It's all good. We've got one more turn of Dynamax. So this is alright. Right. We've got Grimmsnarl, and what's Grimmsnarl's little friend going to be? Puerto. The Toco. Okay. Well, does Tito? I don't think Tito underspeeds Puerto. Um. We could reverse the Trick Room, but then we're wasting like we're wasting our last max move. We still got Gastron, so I think we're going to be all right. We could get a quick draw activation again. Uh, let's go Max Rockfall and go Expanding Force into Quirtle. Into the Quirtle. Uh, there's a light screen. Okay. What are we going to see? Solar Beam or Eruption? 
Ooh, we're actually in the speed field hole call. So, Tito may, yep, underspeed it. Um, and we should get it. We'll get a sand back up, which gives us... Okay, that's fine. That's fine. This is over. It's over. It's over. It's over, my friends. Grimstall ain't doing anything now. So, that turned out all right in the end. In the end. I was a bit worried early on. I didn't feel like it would... Um, it would work out as well starting off but it seems to have turned around quite quickly please the venusaur didn't use its its g max move because that would have that would have definitely made things a bit more difficult um but tita glaring slow bro doing all the work and that is all that matters um now we've just got rock slide and Kill the side smash. And good game to my opponent. So Nico, good game. Good one for us to uh to start with. Okay, we got Sir Fetch, Slow King, uh Mimikyu, Luxray, uh Time Flame and Scissor. This is a cool looking team. Um Is it it's quite heavy trick room oriented. Shimon! The man, the legend himself. Thank you so much for the raid, my friend. I hope you're doing well. Love this guy. This guy is literally a hero, honestly. He's like one of the best guys I ever met. Met him in Germany earlier. Was it this year or was it last year? End of last year? I can't remember. It's a blur, but dude, thank you so much for the raid. Hope you're doing well, man. Um, right, we're running out of time. We've got like 15 seconds. What are we doing? Indeedy, we're going to have to fall back on our, our master plan of uh, Indeedy Titar. And do we bring... Rotom's, Rotom's pretty good here. Rotom is really good. Let's bring the Rotom. It was last year. It feels like two minutes ago, dude, but it was such a cool event, man. I had such a good weekend with you, Duncan, Lou, and everyone else. It was, uh, it was awesome. It was very cool. Avalapo, Avalpo? How, uh, dude, I'm sorry. I can't even pronounce your username. It's a cool username. I'm just really bad at pronouncing names, but thank you so much for joining us and for the for the follow. Hopefully, you just got a laugh out of that rather than anything else. Shiny Scissor. Why? Why is this guy bringing doing this to us? Shiny Scissor is... I mean, it kind of looks... It looks better than it has done in the past. It's the first time I've seen Shiny Scissor on in Sword and Shields. I've always been like against the the green scissor, but it doesn't look too bad. It looks better when it's kind of on the switch. We'll give him that. Okay, we got Mimikyu, we got scissor. Should we just go Mystic Fire into the scissor and Trick Room? Or is it Mimikyu going to Trick Room for it? There's no way Mimikyu Trick Rooms us, right? We could just Expanding Force as well. Let's just go expanding force, try and break break the disguise. Okay, there we go. There's a quick draw that we want. Do they just double up into Indeedy? Like Indeedy should add speed scissor. They're rough. Okay. Yeah, okay. Oh we get the scissor. That was pretty. That was too easy. I don't think you should let Scissor go down that easy. Just Valpy is fine. Cool, man. That makes it so much easier for me. Love your YouTube videos. First time catching you on Twitch. Awesome to have you here, man. Thank you so much for coming over to the stream tonight. I hope you enjoy it and enjoy the games that we're playing. And uh, Valpy is so much easier, dude. I have a problem. I have a big problem. Ask everyone. I have a huge problem with pronouncing usernames. Uh, right, we've got Sir Fetched up next. Uh, we definitely need a Trick Room, for sure. So let's go Trick Room um, and follow me and just try. Because a player rough shouldn't take down our NDD from the, the damage that we've just taken. And you've got to assume that the Mimikyu goes before the, the Sir Fetched. <laughs> well, Pinko is against shiny Pokemon. Johnny, you're perverted if you use shiny Pokemon. <laughs> okay, well, currently I have no shiny Pokemon out on the field. 
So does that that counts, right? That definitely counts. Where is Pinko tonight? I haven't seen him round. I hope he's doing well. Bless him. Bless him. Probably working. Steel spike. There we go. Okay. This might be a good opportunity for us right now to actually just max the brawl. We could max brawl. We haven't maxed the brawl yet tonight, have we? We've got the terrain up. We've got the perfect opportunity. We've got a trick room up. We can probably get Sir fetched. We can... Do we bring in Titar? And just... Just rock slide? Try and stop them reversing the trick room? Or do we bring in... Rota? Hmm. No, let's bring in Titar. Let's do this. Let's go brawl. Let's max the brawl. We can do this. I feel like the bra needs maxing at least once tonight. Yeah, I'm surprised we haven't maxed it. The other option I had before I came into this tonight was I was going to actually play um, Weakness Policy Slow Brawl with uh, Trick Room's Shadow Sneak Dusclops, which I really like. I think that's like that could be really good. Um, Lash Out's not really going to do very much for us right now against the Mimikyu. I don't think it picks up the knockout either. Really better off just going for Rock Slide and go. Max Mindstorm into the Surf Edge. This is where the special T-Tar would be incredible, uh, Will. Okay, Mimikyu switching out, that's ideal. Slow King coming in, even better. It's a shiny Slow King as well. Shimon. Sorry, I was opening my window, but still heard everything. Yeah, Germany was fire. I hope we can hang out on an event again. Dude, I hope so, man. That was like, it was one of the best events I've had in a very long time, dude. And it was great hanging out with you, man. It was awesome. Krasik90, thank you so much for joining us and for the follow. I hope you enjoy the stream with us here this evening. Come on, bro. You can do this. Take this surf fetch down. Oh, we missed the kill. We need, we need T-Tar. Pull through. It's not going to... <laughs> Tito, you're the worst. Literally the worst. Tito, what are you doing? Tito, you may as well literally have not bothered coming to this match. Really? So, Duck, Lost Thunder, how are you doing? Thanks for joining the stream tonight. I hope you enjoy the matches with us. As our Tito just mocks us. The, the ultimate troll. Right. Well, we've got, we've got Rotom. We're going to get this Surf Fetch this next turn, so that's fine. Unless they... Mm. Ah, this is alright, actually. I think we're alright, because we max ooze, we get the boost, and we take Slow King down. This all works out super fine. Will, how do you even evolve Gala Slowpoke? Shameless plug, go watch, go watch. I did a guide on it, Will. I did a guide on it, it's great. You can go and collect... Galarian twigs to get a Galarian cuff and then you can evolve your Galarian Slowpoke into a Galarian Slowbro. I even did a guide on where to catch um, Regenerator. Hidden ability Galarian Slowpoke as well. If you're interested in that, but there you go. <laughs> and the Lost Thunder, good bully and gigs with Cobble Lion. Nice. I like it. Cobble Lion's a very cool Pokemon, especially this format. Expanded Force coming out. Okay, right, I'm taking a chunk of that, but hopefully plus one Thunderbolt does enough. Oosh. Not quite. Okay. Is that a weakness policy? Ugh. Okay. That's not ideal. That's not ideal. Right. Um, we got to... We, I think we've got to get a quick draw going. Yeah, or we've got to win the speed tie. Or maybe that slocking isn't min speed. Maybe. I don't know. Hmm. We got overheat into the Mimikyu, and I think we have to go. Yeah, we got I mean we got Max Ooze again into Slocking. And hope we win the speed time. Then presuming that it's gonna be min speed. It may not be though. But if we can get this Max Ooze into the Slocking, then I think we've got this game. We do. Okay. And a plus two overheat will 100 percent get the Mimikyu. And even if not, I think Slowbro will probably be able to, to beat the maybe beat the Mimikyu, maybe. We should be able to. It's the last turn of our max move, but 
The Brawl's done well in this match. There's a play rough. Take that like a champ. And Rotom is a good boy with that overheat. You have weakness policy. Nice. Um, Loz, does what mention Digginmar? I did that. Uh, I did the one on the uh, uh, Armorite or recently. So I did. I did a whole thing on where every location of Digginmar is uh, around the island. There's like 15 spots around the island where she can pop up. Right, we got Leo up next. Hatterene, Amoongus, Indeedee, Primarina, Marowak, and Halucha. Um, the Amoongus is a big, a big, big, big problem for us. But I mean, we do have uh, Rotom here. We could actually go a different mode here. I think like Rillaboom, Rotom isn't a bad option for us. And maybe Titar, Slobber on the back. We could go Rotom. Do we want our own Indeedy here, though? <sighs> it's just if we see the Halucha up top, which is which is not ideal. Uh, I th no, I think we go. We go this, and I think we actually bring Rillaboom to this one. Oh, do we? Or do we bring Rillaboom? Do we just bring... Hmm... Kind of tempted to bring Rotom over Rillaboom. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's go. Let's go on Rotom. Yeah, I love, well, I love that Urshifu's got that ability now and it's just like stops T-Tar stalling out at any point. Or anything that's like fighting weak, or water weak or dark weak. It just can't protect. It just takes it out of the equation. It's so good. Okay, we've got Hat and Indeedee. Oh. I mean, we're just going to see Trick Room. We're going to see Trick Room. I don't know whether we want a trick room here, actually. I think, like, if we... Maybe. We could double expanding force. For sure. Or we could, we could just follow me. And go for side shell smash into hat. But I think they're probably going to follow me. Well, they may double expanding force. Maybe. No, they're just following me. They're going to set the trick room up. We could have trick room here, but I don't really mind the trick room going up, honestly. Because we could potentially just max with Brawl here if we wanted. Um, or we could switch into, we could switch into Teton now and go for Bulldoze, because they're going to max, right? Hmm. I think they just carry on following me, max, at... Could help in hand though. We could definitely help in hand and go Maxus into hat. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's bring the bra out. I'm hoping they go for a help in hand here. Because with the Psychic Seed boost and max, we should take whatever the hat throws out at us semi-comfortably. It doesn't look like they're maxing. Oh, they are. Are we slower than the hat? We can't be. Like, we, if the hat, if it's slower than us, it, unless it's speed tying, like, it surely should max before us. Hmm. 
And I don't think they go for the G Max move. You'd probably see a, a follow me though. That's what I would imagine. Yeah, okay. Max Ooze is fine though. You get the boost. And this may this may get this should get in DD. No. What are we going to see the, uh, the G-Max Smite? It is actually going for... Okay, it's going for the Confusion hits. Hmm. Hopefully we can just play through it. UFC fan, how are you doing, mate? I hope you're well. Having a great day, and thanks for hopping in and joining the stream tonight with us. Um... I think we got for Mystical Fire there, and... Or do we go for the follow me here and just go? Yeah, I think I think we go follow me and try and get just protect Slowbro the best we can and go for the max ooze into the hat. Okay. Hopefully we don't hit ourselves in confusion. That'll be ideal if we can just get through this. Come on, Indeedy, you can do it. You're the worst. You're the worst. Literally the worst. I mean, we take that pretty well. Come on, slow bro. Okay, there's the Maxus. We get rid of the Indeedy. That's great. So, hopefully next turn we can snap out of our confusion. We're plus two as well now. So, Maxus <sighs> might get the hat. Might get the hat. I just streamed for the first time with a capture card for three hours. Nice, dude. How did it go? Played a lot of Series 5. That's awesome, dude. I hope it went well, man. I'm sad I've actually missed it. Um, but you'll have to... Right. I'm going to I'm gonna watch the, the VOD after this. After this, check it out, dude. But I hope you enjoyed it, man. I'm sure you did. What team are you playing tonight? I'm using tonight as, uh, as a way to get to Master Rank because I've just not had time. I didn't have time last night because I had to get up at like silly o'clock, like half five this morning. So, I mean, I had to go to bed early because <laughs> I needed sleep. So I couldn't play last night and I haven't had time today. Teams from Victory Road Rental Teams, nice. There's lots of stuff on there that's really cool. Oh, uh, Among Us. All right, we need to follow me. Redirection, like, badly here. Um, do we max Mindstorm? I think we do go for it into the Amoongus. We need to remove the Amoongus from the field. Like, we can't. We can't be put to sleep. We need to follow me as well. Indeedy, if there's ever a time to not hit yourself with confusion, this is it. Come on. Ignore the birds. Come on. You can do it. There we go. Good indeedy. Although, Hat's just gonna, uh, yeah, nuke us. And now it's a speed tie between Amoongus and Slowbro. Okay, well. I believe in Slowbro. I believe in Slowbro. We can do this. Really? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> We just needed, we needed the quick draw there. Uh, okay, we'll bring in Rotom. We're fine. We need the terrain to change, really. Um, could protect here with Rotom inside Shell Smash. Come on, wake up and get the quick draw. That would be the best play. Quick draw. Come on, wake up, slow bro. Come on, come on, slow bro. Wake up. Get this hat. Let's shut this thing down. Oh, come on. And Will, you should not believe in slow bro. <laughs> Your faith is misplaced. It's not, dude. Oh man, is that a crit? Really? <sighs> I mean, there's not really much else we could do. We lose the speed tie. We don't get the quick draw. When we need it. We don't get the wake up when we need it. The terrain has ended. Um, and has the trick room ended now? Is that the trick room finished? 
should have done. Mm. Yeah, there's no trick room yet. I'm wondering whether to just nasty plot and protect. Although, probably better to rock slide because we could flinch. And then if the trick room does go up, at least we can protect Tito the next turn. Maybe get rid of Amoongus then. Uh, Amoongus protect him. We're going to see a trick room. This is alright. They might not spot Rotom not getting hit with the sand. And we might get lucky with Tito. We might get the flinch. That's what we need. We need a little bit of luck. To, to help us out right now to what we've had. No luck. No luck. Well. I think we go. Let's do the Sh Thunderbolt should get the hat. Let's protect Tito. The thing you go Spore into Rotom. And I think you Dazzle here. We maybe would have been better off with the Dazzle. Unless they do spore the Tita. Another crit. What the heck? What the heck? Come on. This better take this hat down. And this better not be Hatterene as, as the last Pokemon. UFC fan. Didn't have any commentary because I don't have an external mic. I couldn't figure out how to connect my laptop mic dude it should be in the settings on um it should be in the settings on um an obs there should be a drop down in like a mic like a um, uh, an audio output device um if you want to hook up at all just dm me i'll try and help you out if i can guys tb thank you so much for joining us tonight and for the follow i hope you're doing well and i uh, hope you enjoy the stream with us tonight okay we'll go for the Oh, he, they're going to put the T-Tar to sleep, aren't they? Err, uh, yeah. Uh, and I think we've got to... Well... We could go for a double protect here. But it's probably better that we just we just rock slide. We just rock slide. We could go for the lash out into the Marowak. There's a spawn, yeah. We just gotta hope that Titar wakes up before Marowak can knock us out. Bonmarang's not the most accurate attack. It hasn't really got the other attacks to kind of do the damage that it needs to. Okay, Rock Slide. Huh. Yeah, well, Rotom takes that. Get the overheat we hit, so we get rid of the Amoongus. That's ideal. Alright. I wonder if it's like Rock Head Marowak, or if it is... It is lightning rod, I wonder. Um could we double protect? Is it worth double protecting or is it worth just just sacking Marowak here? Uh sacking Rotom. Trying for an overheat. And just try and protect Tito. Hopefully we can. Oh, we're staying asleep. Come on, Tito. You've got to wake up the next turn, please. There's another rock slide. It does connect. It will take our Rotom down, unfortunately. And it's chunking our Tito. Chunking our Tito. This guy's critting us all over the place. That crit didn't matter, though. But I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Right. We think we've got one turn of trick room left. And we need Tito to wake up. Um, yeah, one turn of trick room. So it all comes down to this. Come on, Tita, please wake up. Come on. I love you, Tita. I love you, Tita. Show me why. <laughs> I love you so much. Come on. <laughs> please do it. Please wake up. Please wake up. Please wake up. Come on. Yes, we wake up. We wake up. Okay. Can a lash out take down this Marowak? Is it literally not got bone bon rang? Might not want to activate our weakness policy, I guess, but I mean, he probably would have been better off going for it. Is the lash out going to be enough? We'll go for it.
Come on, Tito. Let's get rid of this Marowak. Take this game after all this. It actually outspeeds us. This is not great. This is not great at all, because um, it can rock slide flinch us here. I thought it would be like min speed. I thought it would be min speed Marowak on a kind of heavy trick room based team. <laughs> oh, don't take us down. Come on. Oh! <laughs> Tito survives two HP. I think we deserve that. I think we deserve that. I think we deserve that. Get a little bit of Taylor there. <laughs> wow. Okay. That was insane. That was insane.